Hi, I'm Dr. Katie Avalar, and today we'll talk about why cats purr. Purring isn't universal amongst felines. Some cats can purr and some can't. Lions are a good example of a cat that can't purr, but domestic cats, cheetahs, ocelots, servals, they can all purr. And people always ask me, what's the difference? Why can some cats purr while others can't? And it all has to do with the anatomy of their larynx. You might have heard the term voice box before. Well, that refers to our larynx because it's literally a box in our neck that controls our voice or controls a cat's purr. Purring is a very anatomically complex behavior. Emotions stimulate the brain to initiate oscillations that nerves transfer to the larynx and diaphragm. The larynx and diaphragm then oscillate and air moves in and out of the glottis in a repeatable pattern. A purr actually has a definition. It's defined as a 10 to 15 millisecond vibration that occurs every 30 to 40 milliseconds. So that equates to 250 vibrations per second. Sometimes when a cat is in an exam with me, it'll be purring and the owner will say, it's so weird she's purring, I thought she was nervous. But the truth is a purr isn't just a happy behavior. It serves as so many forms of communication. Sometimes it's cat-cat communication. So a kitten might purr to its mother to say, I'm hungry, or a mom might purr to her kitten to say, I'm here and I'm going to feed you. Those might be inaudible to us. Humans can't hear every purr, uh, but sometimes they're meant for us. So cats will also use it as cat-human communication to convey their emotional states. Some examples of emotional states are if our cat's purring to a melody and needing its paws, then we know they're telling us they're happy. If the purr is a really high pitch and their body posture is really tight, then we know they're anxious and they're letting us know that. Uh, but it also serves some other purposes. There's therapeutic purrs mm -hmm. where certain vibrations are actually known to increase joint mobility, bone strength, and decrease pain. And then my least favorite purr is called the terminal purr, which happens within 24 hours of a cat passing away. It's not known exactly why this happens, but one theory is that it dulls mental awareness and eases the transition from life to death. Sorry this video ended on a sad note, but if you found it interesting, please subscribe. We post new cat care videos every Monday. Thanks for watching and see you next time.